Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about lambda functions or you can say anonymous functions. Okay, so now before we start, I just want to highlight that few people consider lambda functions or anonymous functions as very complicated topic, but it's not. It's going to be very easy. Just give me a couple of minutes and stay till the end of the session and I will make sure that you understand lambda functions very easily. Okay. So I will also show you some official document, uh, documentation and definitions which will make everything very clear. And lambda functions, again we will be using once you move ahead, we will be using with filter, map and reduce and with different built-in functions as well. It's going to be very interesting. So let me first of all show you what exactly official documentation says and then we will finally take few examples and will make everything very easy. So as you can see, I'm just referring to official documentation from Python. It says small anonymous functions can be treated with the lambda keyword. Okay, so now in simple words, lambda functions are anonymous functions. Okay, now if you just come back here, it says lambda functions can be used whenever function objects are required. Just note this uh, point. I will come back to this once again. They're syntactically restricted to a single expression. This is the main part or I will say n number of arguments, but it can have only one single expression. Okay, so let's talk about this in detail and uh, we'll see how do we use it. So first of all, I will show you what was the situation before Lambda and what will be the situation after Lambda. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's write a very small program that will simply calculate or simply print the square of a given number. So this is how we do generally, we will write a small function, right? Where we will simply calculate the square of a given number. So if I create a function called SQR, where we will pass the number and it is simply going to give me a square of the same number. Okay, so if I say whatever the number will give, we'll just get the square of the same number. So let's do one thing. Now, if I just want to call this, I will just call square and I will pass let's say number two and let's see what value we will get. We will get four. If I simply give four, okay, just run it once again, we'll get 16, right? Now, what if I have list of values? So let's say if I have list of values, if I create a list L1 equal to one, three, five, six, seven, sorry, these are just a list of values, integer values. So now I have four values. If I just want to call this multiple times, as we have seen in our previous videos, how to iterate a list. So I will say for let's say X in LI or L1. So it is going to give me all these values one by one, right? So I can call this function now. So now it is going to calculate the square of each number from this list. So if I simply run this, you can see we got the value. 3 square 9, then 25 and 36. Now this is happening with the regular approach where we are creating a function. We are calling this function on a list of uh, elements. Okay. Now if I simply try to convert this into lambda function. Okay. So how we will do it? Let me show you. So first of all, I will show you what is the exact syntax in order to create lambda function. Then we will write this program again or maybe some other program. So first of all, you need to write this lambda keyword, then you need to provide the argument. So this can be single argument, this can be multiple argument. So just I will mention arguments, then I will write colon and here you need to maintain the expression. Now this expression is totally depends on your condition. So this is the syntax would be and this is going to return the object of function object. Okay, I will show you that as well. So this is going to return, I will say function object. Just remember the syntax guys and rest everything is very easy. So let me write this lambda function. I will say lambda. Okay, this is the keyword. Then argument, let's say argument is nothing but just one argument. I will say number. Then colon, right? I will just say colon here. Finally, we need to provide the expression. So now expression, I just want to uh, generate the square. So I will say number into number. 
okay now whatever data we will get let me store into a data variable and let me first of all show you what exactly is this data variable okay the moment you say print data just run this and you can see we got one function object now how do we call the normal function we simply write the function name and provide the argument same will be applicable for lambda function or anonymous function i will simply say data and i will simply provide the value let's say 5 now this will give you the final data let me store into a result variable and now let's print this result okay so i will say print result and just right click run and you can see we got the data if i want to calculate the square of 10 just change this and you will see the value so generally we will be using this lambda functions once we start using some higher order functions okay so once we move ahead we will be using uh, filter we will be using map we will be using reduce we will be using sort so whenever you use this high level or higher order of functions where we will be using function as an argument so instead of using uh, you know fully qualified function name we will use anonymous function or i will say the lambda functions so i can give you a few examples we will discuss this in detail once we move ahead but i can just quickly show you when do we use the moment you type map you can see map is a function which is expecting function as an argument and a table as an argument can you see so here we will be using this lambda function once again which is anonymous function let me show you the reduce sorry filter first so if you see filter also is expecting function as an argument and a table as an argument and there's one more call reduce for reduce we just need to import func tool don't worry we will discuss this in detail but uh, i will just say from func tool import reduce so the moment you say reduce you can see again it is asking give me the function and give me the sequence so can you see when you have to pass function within a function we will be using a lambda function or an anonymous function again guys just a small disclaimer whenever you have to write some complex programs or complex calculation go with the regular functions and use it normally this lambda function is only useful when you have to write a very small and quick code so just do with lambda function and finish it but the moment you have complex programs make use of normal functions okay because generally when it comes to readability lambda functions are not that readable but they are very good when you have the, a very small calculation with less number of arguments and with less calculation or i will say easy calculation but yes for the complex one you have to go with uh, normal functions okay it's totally up to you but this is what the suggested one because of the readability part so just to make you uh, you know very clear i will show you one more example okay so right now i just showed you example of only single argument what if i want to pass multiple argument so in that case let's say i just want to have again one more anonymous function let's say lambda is a keyword this time i want to pass three argument okay so let's say uh, num1 comma num2 comma num3 okay com and colon so num1 which we have simply do into 2 plus whatever second number we have multiply this number by 3 add the result number 3 that we have do this multiply by 4 so you can see number 1 into 2 plus number 2 into 3 number 3 into 4 this is what my expression and these are the number of argument that i will be passing so finally i will get the function object let me store this into a new data okay and now let me simply call this so i will say new data and let me pass 1 2 3 let's take this calculation simple so that i can show you easily just run this and you can see we got the data is 20 how we are getting 20 let's see so one will be passed into num1 num1 into 2 we got result as 2 plus then we are passing 2 2 will be stored in num2 num2 into 3 which is 2 into 3 which is 6 so this is 6 then 3 will be passed in num3 num3 into 4 which is 3 into 4 which is 12 so this is 12 so 12 plus 6 plus 2 into 20 
I hope you got this lambda function now, which is anonymous function. So there's no restriction you can pass n number of arguments. It is just you need to give the expression here and you will get the function object and you can call this with the number of argument. Clear? Now there's a question. What if I just want or if I simply pass two argument, what will happen? The moment you run this, you will get simple just like a normal type error that missing one required positional argument num3. Okay, so just make sure you give the exact number of argument that you have mentioned in your lambda function. I hope it is clear now. If you still have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.